Europe's migration crisis keeps prompting nations to do their own thing, while paying lip service to the decisions reached collectively. For Germany, that's a danger to the Schengen system of borderless travel and European unity more widely. I don't issue any concrete warnings here, or say what happens if. But I do want to say that a Schengen system can only work if there is joint responsibility for taking in refugees and joint responsibility for protecting the external borders. Recriminations continue about the violent disorder in Cologne, Stuttgart and Hamburg on New Year's Eve. Was it mass sexual assault? Were most of the perpetrators asylum seekers or not? As questions multiply, so too the political costs for a chancellor who accepted more than one million migrants. There are divisions within her own Christian Democrat Party. I'm not sure that the socialists are quite as united as they appear. The one, P, one group which clearly is united, let everybody come, are the German Greens. To some extent the German left, the Linker Party. But I think there, is a, there are divisions in Germany. Well, we've got elections fairly soon. We'll see how they work out. At the moment, I'd still put money on Merkel, but maybe less money than I would have done six months ago. Early this week, Sweden put controls on the Ursund Bridge and other crossings with Denmark. The Danes have in turn now said they'll be putting them on their border with Germany. France, meanwhile, retains its border checks put in place after the Paris attacks. And two other Schengen signatories, Austria and Slovenia, have now erected a border fence and other restrictions. As well as those internal checks, countries on Europe's periphery have been putting up fences too, trying to keep migrants out. And increasingly that approach, called Fortress Europe by some, is seen as key. Yes, I think the, the, the Germans care about that. Um, our citizens uh, enjoy the absence of internal border control between the Schengen states in Europe, but they need to know that external border control is um, reliable and only if external border control works, then internal border controls can be lowered or even um, omitted. In autumn, Hungary's prime minister drew flak from many in Europe when he sealed off his country's border with Serbia. Up to hundreds of thousands used Hungary as their entry point into the Schengen area. Today, other European leaders are more understanding. David Cameron voicing support for a comprehensive policy to limit the flow of Syrians into Europe. I, I quite uh, agree with Victor that Europe needs strong external borders and those that help provide those strong external borders, I believe, are doing uh, very much the right thing. Much now depends on EU plans for a new border force and a deal with Turkey to cut the flow of people to the Greek islands. But neither promises to be a perfect solution. Thousands of refugees are still making the journey weekly and Europe's nations are still struggling to agree how to handle it. <laughs>